Good morning, Modern Status. It's a nice, brisk, raw, damp, yucky 65 degrees out this morning. It's supposed to be 90s today. I don't get this weather. Come on, in, Maverick. Where's Goose? Huh? Where'd you lose him to? Oh, you left him inside the pen. Let's go over here. Right in here. A little bit further there. Come on, this way. Go under. Hey, duck, you got a duck. <laughs> there you go. Come on and figure out. Come on in, sir. The other day we put some chicken wire and fencing around some of our apple trees so the goats don't kill them. If you guys have any suggestions or comments how else we can do that, leave it in the comments down below. So far, it seems to be working good. Time will tell. Buttercup looks all happy eating her morning breakfast. She's happy, she's got food. She's content. <laughs> Is that good? You're enjoying it? Did you hear me open up the grain container? So you get him Figaro? <laughs> you got a fly buzzing around you over there or what, mister? You remind me of Karate Kid. You looking for an apple, huh? You got sleepies in your eyes, girl. Come on out. Good morning. Morning. Where are the other goats? Are they snoozing? And then Nora always waits on this side for us. Good morning, Nora. Yeah, good morning. All right, you got your little treat. We'll put the rest in the feeder. Come on, little P and Maggie. Hey, I gotta put the rest in the feeder. There you go. Come on, in, girl. Did you get whatever that was trying to bug you there, Figaro? Huh? Did you get it? You ready? Come on. Let's go find Nora. And it's only Figaro in here. He won't hurt you. She does not like Figaro. <sighs> Figaro, she's not happy that you're right there. You got her all scared. She thinks you're a big old bobcat or something. Every time we get rain and it puddles up. Boys, you're being so noisy this morning. We're trying to make a video. Sheesh. 
Every time we get rain and I come down here and I see all these puddles, I am so glad those sauna tubes are full of concrete. Oh, it was not fun when they kept getting washed out on us, guys. Speaking of that, in like a week and a half, the material for that project is going to be getting delivered, guys. And we're going to be starting that building project. Woohoo! I'm looking forward to it. I don't know about you guys, but I always enjoy building. I guess we got a little bit of rain last night. We'll soak that rain for them. Ladies, you're going to like the rain we got last night, huh? You can play in the mud today when it's in the 90s. I'm hoping the pigs finish clearing this area soon and then I want to move them over here and let them get this area eaten down pretty good and rooted up. And then we can go back behind them over there, rake that out and seed it and flatten it out and have a nice spot right here off of our new building project. That's one of my goals. Hopefully the pigs can get that done for us this season. You enjoying your hay? Huh? Good morning. You can tell it's starting to be breeding season, can't you? Yep. Now the meat bird's been doing really good. Actually, I don't think they need any more grain. Give them a little bit of grain in their feeder. Yeah, they did eat it down quite a bit. And there is right there one that didn't survive. I'll go back in a minute and take him out. But that's the first one we've lost so far out of this batch so that's a really good thing we don't like losing them but it's got to be expected when you're raising meat birds that you're going to have casualties here and there good morning guys i can't get over how much you feathered out just the other day you had like no feathers in a few days we're gonna be able to get you out in the chicken tractors i'm liking that i see you ate all of the grain i gave you last night already so we fill this feeder up twice a day and that's with two scoops of grain two times a day for just over 40 birds. Gotta get in here today and keep an eye on our tomato plants, make sure everything's growing well and prune them back. I was amazing how fast the tomato plants get out of control. Some of these tomato plants are almost 10 feet tall. So right behind your head, I see a tomato hornworm. Where, where? Right here. Oh yeah, get that off there. And there's his poop. Okay. Yeah, boom. And then cut it right here and go stick it oh, in the water. Oh, there's poop right there. And then this guy is gonna go in a cup of water and then we'll give him to the chickens later. So the best way to find a tomato hornworm is to look for eating spots or you look for a poop and then you look up. Look at all the poop. Yeah, look at that. He's been over here eating pretty good. So we gotta keep our eye out while we're pruning for tomato hornworms. I guess we get to go on a hunt. I guess it's a good thing we decided to do this. Yeah, this one looks like it's gotten eaten somewhat, but I don't see a worm. Cause these leaves are, these branches are missing. We were just out here the other day in these tomatoes. It's just amazing how fast that can happen. I see one right here. This guy's huge. I see two. They got that plant right here oh, yeah. and they got them up high. This plant, that's just crazy. They're just going to town, destroying all the leaves. Where is the other one? Right here. Yeah, I see that one. And then way up high is a little bitty one. Oh, yeah. Well, you scope into the chickens. Oh my gosh. They get a good bite, don't oh, they? Oh gosh, it's kind of creeping me out. They're kind of big and nasty. Oh, here you go. That's a baby. See another turd right there, but I am not seeing a worm. So the turd's gonna be below and the worm's gonna be above. So I'm not sure, I'm wondering if these are eggs. Well, I was gonna collect them. Oh, that wasn't what I saw. And then. Yeah, that must be an egg. Right here. There's a poop right there. I know, but I wanna get the eggs first. I don't want babies hatching. So my guess is that's their eggs and they've laid them in here. Not quite sure how that all works, but.
See them? Found them? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a bunch of eggs on that one, too. Here, let's go get a bigger cup. That guy's huge, and they blend oh, right in. Oh, that not as huge as the last one. Right, for the... Oh, my gosh. These are seriously like... Oh, my gosh, I can feel it moving on me. They're squishy. Okay. Let's do that. I see two babies. Two babies? Right Where? here. Where? There's one right here. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. And there's oh, one right there behind, it. behind it. They're so hard to see. They do, they blend right in. I'm just gonna pick that leaf. Here's one. Oh my gosh, this is bad. This is very bad. What will they do? They just ruin the plant? They just ruin the plant. They eat the leaves. The thing is, if we don't take care of them now, they'll ruin the tomato harvest. They'll end up killing the plants and eating the new flowers so they won't be producing any more tomatoes either. So, we need to figure this out. There's one up right here. It's a decent sized one. They blend in really good. Oh, here's a baby. Look at that thing. Oh, I see a big one. You can, wait, wait, wait. I'll let you get that little one. I'm keeping an eye on it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not because they blend in really well. I can't. Right here. Oh my gosh. I don't like this at all. And they're like suction cups. They do. They get stuck on there really well. I knew well. there had to be more than one because there's so much poo on this. This is not like this. Oh, here's another one. Look at them. This is horrible. Like fast? No. Heavy one. There's a little one right there. Right. Oh yeah, see? There's another one right there. Right here. Oh, and one right here. Oh my gosh. You think it's gonna be all right? I think that'll be fine. We just gotta make sure we keep an eye out for him. Another one. Can I cut these in my hand? I got four right off that one plant. Oh, here's another one. I'm gonna touch my hand, but my hand's full. There's another one right there on that leaf. Right there. Oh my gosh. I can't even see it. Look at this. Can this just happen in one day? There's or one right here. Did we just miss this? I'm sure we probably had one or two and we didn't see them. And then they started laying eggs and now all of a sudden the eggs are hatching and they're just another pest that wants to eat our tomatoes. So much that you're fighting against when you're trying to grow a garden. They started eating that tomato. Look at that, them buggers. And they got that tomato. And they started eating oh. that one. We're still gonna get our tomatoes now. We just know we, we have another pest we gotta be vigilant on. Did we have this one already taken off? Yeah, we picked one off of there. Look what it did to that. Yeah, they just go around and eat the leaves and the flowers. Oh, and the fruit, because I've seen bites Oh, there's a little one. Tomatoes. Right on the top. That's a teeny tiny one. Yep. Look how big those guys are. They're huge. And then we got these ones right here. Man, that's crazy. Look at them right there. Let's see if we can get better lighting. That front little teeth right here they're crawling and they're using that front little piece to eat everything they're so destructive it's not even funny you wouldn't think these little guys could do that much damage not only did they eat 
the plants. They've gone around now and they started eating some of the tomatoes. That's the worst part. These are our good tomatoes right here for making pasta sauce. They won't go to waste. We'll feed them to our animals, but still, it's not the same. Look at that. Ah, frustrating. So frustrating. Man, they've gotten quite a few of those ones. Those two haven't been touched, but that one got it too. Man. Two more that they had gotten. I was just out here the other day putting liquid fish fertilizer on the tomato plants so that way we wouldn't get any blossom end rots. I can't believe I didn't see the tomato hornworms then. They must have been at the small stage, so I didn't see them. But man, it's crazy to think how much damage they've already done. All right, let's go give the chickens a little feast. Hey chickens, I got something for you. And the goats come running too. You girls aren't gonna wanna eat no worms. You're not gonna like them, I know. Yeah, ready? Who wants a big old worm? No? Come on. <coughs> gotta get you ladies eating on command. I know you gotta eat them. <coughs> oh, she got that one. That's a little disappointing, but they don't like us watching them eat them. <laughs> we'll come back later and we, when we check on eggs and they'll all be gone. I know they will be, but I just wanted to have the enjoyment of watching the chickens eat the worms. Yeah, now they're all over there having a feast. The ladies were being bashful. They didn't want to let me watch them eating the worms. What? I know, right? Them. They're eating them when I left. Did you find many more? Yeah. Yeah? You have? Well, it must be starting to warm up in the greenhouse a little bit because the vent's starting to open. Another one. Seals nicely there. I see two right here. They're good sized ones too. I just saw a fresh turd. I said, that's a fresh turd. How do you know it's fresh? Where are the worms? I just want the worm. Holy goodness, that's a huge worm. One. I saw a fresh turd right there in that tomato. They kind of look like a raspberry. Yeah. Or a but green dog. when they're first pooped. They look like a grenade. That's kind of what they're doing. They're blowing up the tomato plants. 
Bam. So look for a grenade and then you search for the worm. These buggers. Just want to grow tomatoes so we can have some BLTs and make some pasta sauce. And now here we are having to fight against the hornworms. I'm seeing some really good flowers on the zucchini and summer squash still. There we go. That'll seal that up nicely for winter time. Get that tucked in nicely. I'll give it a more of a finished look. You break your back, but you still don't have bread. You won't go back on the things that you said. You bleed your heart out. There. That'll keep the door sealed nicely. I like that. I'm glad we waited for the temperatures right now to hang these seals. They're more pliable. Right, so I just saw a turd fall. You I'm like, fall? yeah. And then I found this bass, this bugger, let's that say bugger, trying to eat the tomato. Give me that. Oh my gosh, look how big that is. Yeah, I'm walking by and I saw something fall. I saw this turd right there drop. I don't like the word turd. And he was eating this tomato. I like to share the good, the bad, and the frustrating with you guys because it's what it's like with life on a homestead. You never know what's gonna happen. We don't wanna sugarcoat it and make it look oh so pretty because that's not always the case. I wish it was. Don't you? <laughs> You've come too far now to ever stop. Wash me in the water and I'll never go back. Even when I'm walking to dead man pass. I like cutting a little 45 so that way we can go up and over and then this can seal off the corner so there's no gaps there. Then I like to work my way down keeping the greenhouse plastic under it and that to me it just gives a nice more of a finished look instead of having the plastic just out there waving. I like that, I'll give it a good seal. I am looking forward to fall and winter growing and that's one of the things they say about fall and winter growing, you don't have the pest pressure either. Okay. Yeah, this right now is the time of the year with heavy pest pressure, so. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this side prepped and installed and then I'll be right back. All right, last screw right here. Boom. I like that. It seals nicely. Keeps the doors from blowing around, having that weather stripping in place. And then it also cleans up the edges of the plastic and just gives it a nice finished look. I wanna go up there and adjust that auto vent. I got an idea on how to get them to work smoother. I think I'm done. I think you got them all? Look at my hands. Hmm. Yummy. So if they look dirty later, it's not because I didn't wash them. <laughs> this is the ones that 
I put in the jar. And then some in there. Right and then before we already, I started putting them in the jar. And then we already gave the girls some too. And if I look back, I went back through and I found a couple more, but we still have to keep coming back out. Yeah, every day we're going to have to come out at least once, if not twice a day, and do a visual look over and see. And I found two different ones on the pepper plant. But oh, we don't need them to go on our pepper plants too. Mm -hmm. So I got those off. I checked the eggplants and I didn't see anything. That's good. So they can go on tomato plants, eggplants, pepper plants. And potato. I and potato. I didn't check the potatoes. All right, the other vent is working really well. And I had offset this bracket so it's in line straight with the chain. And then it makes both sides open evenly. So I'm going to take out this rod, stick it in the fridge. And then... We will readjust. Well, then we'll move the bracket over and then put it back in, set everything up, and that should do it. There we go. Stick this in the fridge for about 20 minutes to a half hour, and then we'll be able to set this back up. It's kind of funny, it's middle of summer, and here we are getting the greenhouse ready for winter growing. We have some big projects coming up, so I know we need to take our time and get these projects done while we have the time. Okay, now we can take this chain. This one's pulling over there straight. So now, when we get this piston back installed and it warms up, both of these should pull evenly. All right, I got the cylinder out of the refrigerator. All right, right there should be good. We got it about halfway threaded. And the chain's got a little bit of tension on it, so we'll have to see what it looks like once it warms up. Since the chickens of NYC at this point disappointed me about how they went after the worms, let's bring these over to Olivia's flock. Do you ladies want to eat some garden pests for us? Come here. I got something good for you. Come on. Look at that yumminess. Oh yeah. Now you gotta call over the other chickens. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, now that we know they're gonna eat them, we'll leave the rest of the tomato stuff here for them too. At least we can turn some of our pest problems into eggs. All right, ladies, we'll finish giving you your privacy so you can finish eating them. How's that sound? We'll check on you later. Our chickens are all kind of modest. I was hoping they were gonna be a little bit more savage and eat those worms right up, but I'm sure they're gonna eat them. They just want their privacy. <laughs> oh yeah, they're right over there going to town now that we left them alone. They're loving it. And the vents are starting to open and they're open evenly. That's what I wanted to happen. That looks nice. That's gonna be perfect. I'll leave the ladder set up just in case you have to make some adjustments to get it to open more. And then this is what the seals look like. When the doors are shut, it's sealed that way when we open them. It's nice and sealed like that to keep the wind out. I like it. I wonder if there's gonna be any remnants of the hornworms or if the chickens have eaten everything. I hope they ate them all. I don't see any tomato leaves left or branches. They ate everything. Everything. Love it. Cool beans. How many eggs? 12 and 13. 12 and 13. I'm gonna say 10. Thank <laughs> you.
one, two, three, four. How many eggs do you think? Six, eight, ten. Ten eggs. Ten. Ten. Go. Nope. You got your ivy? Yeah. Where are you hiding, Hope? Hope, what are you doing? Do you think anybody laid an egg in here today? Maybe. Yep. She did? She did. Awesome possum. She sure did. That's a nice egg. It is. Nice and speckled. Nice. So did you ladies eat all your tomato plants? It don't look like it. I'll feed you on top of them so that way you'll peck through them and get all the worms. I wonder if they laid any eggs. See one big one, a little one. So we got a Easter egg, black copper moran. So two out of here. And then somebody's laying an egg in here. That wasn't there this morning. Yep. There you go. I wonder, like, because none of my chickens are really out. Except for that black One of them chicken. hops over the fence and goes uh, back. Oh, okay. We gotta clip their wings. So it's another Easter egg. Yep. It's the next morning now. We ended up going back into the greenhouse last night. We ended up getting over 20 more tomato hornworms out of the greenhouse last night, guys. I don't think this is going to end anytime soon. <laughs> Frustrated. Hopefully we don't lose too much of our tomato harvest, guys. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. We don't want to use chemicals. We grow organically here. So if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey with us. If you want to check out another fun greenhouse video, I'm going to put a link to one right here of us when we started building the greenhouse. If you guys aren't already subscribed, now's a great time to do that. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, and we'll see you right back here in our next video at Lumna Acres. Bye.